Look how cute that is. I literally am Kristen Johns. I just gardened in my backyard and it's just so cute and adorable. <laughs> the self-portrait photography at home photo shoot is part two of my cottage core dresses haul guys. And if you haven't watched that try on haul yet, make sure you do so after this one so you know exactly where I bought these cottage core dresses from. They are fairly affordable under and around $30 and are great if you want to try out the cottage core aesthetic. You can't tell, but all the good ones are up there and I can't reach that, so. For the first self-portrait, I was inspired by spring and late summer flower blossoms. It'd be really exciting to recreate this photo each season with autumn leaves and winter conifers and see the changing time and progression. One quick tip about self-portraits is to focus on something like this tripod or basket if you don't have a remote control or an app for your DSLR. I'll try to link a video to show you a better example of how to lock focus on an object for your self-portraits down below. That's why you don't bring plants from outside inside the house. So the goal for this at-home self-portrait was to become a cottage core queen complete with a flower crown. And to add a spin to it, I wanted to take multiple shots to create a stop-motion portrait where the flowers gradually covered my hair and my dress. I have the Nikon D750 and I use the Nikon WMU app or the wireless mobile utility to see exactly what my camera was seeing. And I still need to edit the photos, but to see the final result and to see other Instagram photo ideas, make sure you check out my Instagram at abbyjoystudio. To cull or to narrow down my favorite shots, some people use the app Photo Mechanic, but I personally take my portraits onto Lightroom and press the letter P to flag whichever image I like. If I do a second round of culling or narrowing, I rate the image a number 1 if I like it and a 0 if I don't. If I want to narrow it down further, I rate the ones I like best a 2 and higher up to a rating of 5 if I want to keep narrowing the gallery. That photo shoot was a success except one. My throat hurts because I had flowers all over me and I have pollen allergies, so who? Second, there was a worm on me and I just lost it. Okay, for the second self-portrait at home, I did keep this cream cottagecore dress from my cottagecore dresses haul, and I couldn't decide between this one and the strawberry dress one from Amazon, but I did keep this one in the end. This cottagecore photograph was inspired by some old roses I took home from a wedding I photographed. I stuck the roses in the fridge since their edges were browning, but I think it added to the character of the books, honestly. Here's a clip of me trying to get an aesthetic shot of the roses in the fridge. Had to use my foot to keep the door open. Um, but anyway, I actually did find a tip online that said if you put dying flowers in a bowl of water, you can actually revive them, but I didn't have a chance to try that out, but maybe you can. If you're getting Beauty and the Beast vibes from this photo shoot, make sure you like this video. One quick tip for product photography is to stack elements in your background. For example, I stack these books and it really adds dimension and texture to the overall image. Another tip I have is to add motion to your portraits by tossing your skirt or even tossing some papers into the air. to my self-portraits, since I don't have anyone taking my photo, I like to use a tripod or a light stand for extra light and as an extra hand. For this next cottagecore at-home portrait, I wore my green gingham cottagecore dress and laid my cream cottagecore dress on top of the light stand and stood it a little ways out of the camera lens to form a white foreground blur. Make sure you don't have it too close to the lens or else the little dress will appear black. 
As you can see, my 24 to 70 Nikon lens is way too heavy for my tripod to hold vertically, even while using an L mount for my D750, so I ended up propping the Nikon lens on the LED light stand as well. If you enjoyed this cottage core self portrait at home photo shoot, I'd love for you to subscribe, like this video, and watch my other videos for other self portrait at home photo shoot ideas.